and bring a report they still wouldn't believe. Where I'm going to be, <coughs> excuse me, reading from, the children of Israel had just gotten a days long message. The whole book of Deuteronomy. And they were getting ready to make the crossing into the land. Now, I'm not going to read you all the warning parts. He said, now I have read you this today through Moses, God said. I spoke to you directly. And as soon as you get into the land, you're going to forsake what I have said, even though you're going to tell me today that you will do it. So when we speak to God, we got to speak to God from within. And we have to mean what we say. And in meaning what we say, we have to back what we say by keeping what we have committed to God. God sent a message. Be strong and be of good courage. I'm going to read that. Will you hear the message today and listen to God? will all be up to you. You're going into a time in the times of the end, the Bible says, when deception is going to be worse than the earth has ever seen and never will see again. The Bible says the times on the face of the earth are going to be worse by the time it's over than any time the earth has ever saw. In the 28th chapter book of Deuteronomy, he said these are the blessings and these are the curses. <clears throat> and he said, blessed is the nation that will follow the Lord their God and to keep his command." But cursed is he and the nations that start with God and then turn away. But I want to send a message that God is delivering today of encouragement. God has given unto you all the great and precious promises. By these you might put on. Did you hear that? That by these you might put on. In other words, you have to put it on. The divine nature of Jesus Christ our Lord. Put on the divine nature. scripture I don't like very much in the book of Luke to the fact of this the Bible says the master called the wedding and then inside the wedding there was one that refused to put on the wedding garment 